hello again. Um, well, I, I arrived in Cancun. I'm at uh, a very cheap little place. Uh, thank God. I went to the airport this morning, uh, Cancun Airport, walked miles in the searing heat. Got the bus there. They have no British Airways desk. They gave me two other numbers for British Airways. Tried both numbers and uh, the, Mexico, the Mexico City one, uh, for some strange reason, says call it in hours. Um, so I don't quite understand what that's about. Um, now I have a situation where uh, the consulate e e uh, box, what do they call it? The consulate phone box thing. Uh, is full. You can't get through to any of the government numbers without having this hotel uh, booking done. I don't have the money for that. I'm getting sick. I'm getting very sick. I've lost a lot of weight. Um, I'm sure you can see by my face. I've just about had enough. Uh, I've um, now sent a, a emails over to London. I'm trying to get this exemption uh, medical exemption uh, so I don't have to go to the quarantine hotel and I can go straight back to my flat and self-isolate there safely without having any seizures or whatever um, and I have food there uh, but uh, it seems I just can't get anywhere with anything unless I actually go maybe to Mexico City and um, go to the embassy there. I don't know. I'm not sure even if that's open. Now I checked. When I check, things are open. They're not open. Uh, there's just like a block everywhere. Every time I turn around, another door is closed. Uh, I'm hoping that my MP, Nikki Aitken, will help. I've got uh, my doctor going to be sending, hopefully, another letter to stress how fragile I am now um, it's become so much harder I'm at a point where I just don't know which way to turn I can't can't get a refund off British Airways uh, I've got a flight for the 16th but I can't do anything if I don't get an exemption from the government for medical reasons that would allow me to go back straight back to Soho to my home and to quarantine there. I am now at a point I just, there's nothing I can do. Um, I had everything organized perfectly and uh, then this uh, this happened with the government saying that Mexico is red and now my money is locked into British Airways who are refusing to answer anything basically unless I just want to change my flight or you, uh, you know that's it that's all they're sort of really interested in and you can email for that it's basically I am abandoned a British citizen in terrible emergency abroad a woman of 63 years of age alone and without friends in, in severe difficulty and I just pray now that this other letter uh, I've got the original one from my doctor saying that I'm not able to be vaccinated because of the epilepsy there is no vaccine that I can have at the moment and that you know I don't have to wear masks I'm exempt from from all this but it seems that I'm stuck I'm stuck here. So, uh, let's just hope, I'm hoping that the exemption people won't say after like leaving it 14 days that I'm not gonna be exempt. I'm, I'm just stuck, I don't have the money. I don't have, I literally do not have the money to exist. I'm on, on sort of like a very small amount of food a day and, and that's it really. I have to hold on to, this phenomenal amount of money for testing because whatever happens I'll need to get another PCR test which costs a hundred dollars here and I've been 
totally physically healthy, but mentally deteriorating badly. Anyway, send my love to everyone. Take care.